हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू अ न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गोना सी अ प्रॉब्लम काउंट द नंबर ऑफ कंप्लीट कंपोनेंट्स सो बेसिकली इट सेज दैट यू आर गिवन अ अनडेटेड ग्राफ राइट एनी सिंपल ग्राफ सो यू आर गिवन अ ग्राफ नाउ अगेन ग्राफ कैन बी लिटरली एनी नोड्स विद यू नो कोरिस्पोंडिंग नंबर ऑफ एजेस देयर इज नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन द एजेस आई इन द देयर इज ऑलवेज रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑफ How many maximum edges you can have? Because they are specifically mentioning that there are no repeated edges. So that's one thing that you will never find some repeated edges, and that will be a very big factor to solve this problem. I'll come on to it later on as well. But uh, you'll realize, okay. And again, whenever we say graph, it doesn't necessarily mean I have only one component in a graph. There can be multiple other components as well. I can have like this as well. So again, this is a graph having different components. So again, they are mentioning just you are given an undated graph. Next point says that you have to you have to return the number of complete connected components of the graph. So as we saw that this is a graph. In a graph, this is one connected component. What is a connected component? If you don't know, you can just have a look at the video itself. A link in description. But a connected component is as simple terms a component, basically a portion of a graph which is connected completely with each other. So if I start off from here and if I can reach what are nodes, so all these nodes are termed as connected. Now, okay, what are they referring as complete? So complete is nothing but for one node, it is connecting to all the nodes. So as you can see, this node is connecting to all the nodes. Same way, this node is connecting to all the nodes. Same way, this node is connecting to all the nodes. So that is nothing but a complete connected component. Okay, now your task is that you will be given some graph, right? Will you will be given some edges? And again, as I mentioned, that in worst case you can have n into n minus one by two number of edges. They will be given to you. Now you can build the graph, and then in that graph you have to tell number of connected, or oh sorry, complete connected components. Okay, this is one connected component. This is another, and this is another. So we have three connected components. Let's see how many are complete. Okay, this is complete. Because obviously all the edges, all the nodes are connected with each other. This is also complete because all the nodes are connected with each other. This is also complete. Okay, let's see next one. This is a connected component. This is a connected component. Okay, so this is complete. Yes, this is complete. But this is not complete because this node is not connected with this directly. So this is the reason. This is not complete. And that is the reason my answer is one. Only one complete connected component is present in the answer. So, firstly, uh, let's. So the entire essence of this question is just to find out connected components which are complete. So let's only focus on complete connected components. Why only focusing on complete? Because we know that we had already seen a lot of problems in which when we have to find just the connected components. If let's say I would have given you this problem, and I would have asked you, bro, can you please find the number of connected components? You would have simply found out how you can you can do a simple traversal, simple graph traversal can be done. Again, it can be either a BFS or a DFS, anything. It can be there. Uh, you can do any graph traversal, and with that graph traversal, you can keep on visiting. So let's say if I try to do a DFS, so I will pick up any node, and then I will try to iterate the graph as I am able to reach. And when this is done, so I will see okay, one component is completed. Same way, I I will go on to the next node which is not yet visited. Try to run the entire graph. and then i'll say next component is visited and same way for the last component so we have already seen that how can, again if not there just you can just you know check out the practice problem sheet you can come on to graph this is the, these are very basic basic questions which we have discussed so in easy itself you can find many questions medium to they are there um so 33 questions you can have and again hard also you have a lot of questions but yeah if you do in even easy you will find connected component questions now coming on back uh, we realize okay we can easily find the connected components but the task or the speciality here was complete how will you find complete now i have drawn some complete connected components for you so this is complete this is complete this is complete if you remember i mentioned that the speciality about complete component is 
that for one node it connects to all the other nodes with this fact in mind can you think of any such condition which i can leverage in future maybe if you apply some uh, thought on it you will realize that for one node if it connects to every other node which means that let's say you know for this specific node i can have these as the edges right these are the edges same way if i go on to this node i can have these as the edges right these are the edges so basically it is saying that one node will have n minus 1 edges right same way another node will again have n minus 1 edges the only catch here is that when from white to pink i was counting at so i counted edge white but when from pink i was counting i counted that again as well so obviously we can say that from one node i will go on to every other node i have an edge to every other node so from one node i have let's say from one node i have an edge to every other node so this is the number of edge from one node same way obviously i will repeat the process for all the n nodes so from n nodes i will have n into n minus 1 n, n into n minus 1 number of edges but we also saw that an edge can be repeated that is the reason we saw that this will be the total number of edges in the graph if this is the total number of edges in the graph then and and again to confirm this fact you will also see the same thing here as well this is the maximum number of edges in a graph because if it's complete you will have n into n minus 1 by 2 number of edges can i leverage this condition uh maybe maybe not why maybe because again you have to think of what all you can find with the help of your simple graph traversal or simple connected component if you remember if i ask you right that if you have some connected components you can easily find number of edges or nodes in a graph how you can simply traverse it so if i give you this graph if i give you this corresponding component or graph say anything if i give you this thing and if i ask you bro can you find the number of nodes in this how will you find you will keep track of visited you will say Aryan, i will take a visited and then visited of zero i will put as one then i'll go on to the neighbors and uh, i will i can run either a bfs or a dfs let's try to run a, a dfs here then i will go to a neighbor which is not visited so i'll say this is also visited then this is visited i'll go on to neighbor i'll say this is also visited then i'll go on to neighbor i'll say this is also visited now when i came when I, when i come back i will try to go to other neighbor it is already visited no worries so this i when i will come back i'll try to go to other neighbor already visited no worries so this is how exactly this is how exactly i was able to visit so i can easily figure out what all nodes are visited in a corresponding graph so number of nodes to be visited in the graph i can easily find out right okay but what about the edges can i find the edges yes i can why and how let's see so same way like uh, obviously this is not visited okay no worries but when we say this is not visited obviously we will click on it and this will become visited as this becomes visited i will say okay now my zero of visited is true so this is not visited but i know that number of edges of zero number of edges of zero i can find in the hsnc list of zero so if you remember the graph is built up of hsnc list so i always say that a graph of zero will have you know one two three same way a graph of one will have zero three two and same way graph of two will have one zero one and three and graph of three will have uh you know graph of three will have zero one and two so i know that this is the adjacency graph which i have or i should say adjacency list i have so for node zero i can find number of i can find number of neighbors of it because if you remember the formula was built up something like this for one node i have n minus one neighbors for n node i will have n into n minus one neighbors that is the requirement which i had same way i am trying to use the same concept again I'm, I'm not saying same formula i'm using same concept here i'm saying for one node which means for node zero which i have visited right now i will find the number of neighbors it has so i'll just say a degree sum so so far i have said okay number of nodes has been one my degree sum will say okay i have three 
so okay this is done then what i will do i will go to the neighbor again I, you can do again a bfs or a dfs here let's say we, we are doing a dfs so i go on to one although you will see that i will have another candidate as well which is three which i can go on to later on because obviously it's a uh, DFS in which you try for adjacency, you know, adjacent nodes, but obviously you go on to one node and keep on going until you can go in the entire depth. Now I am at one, it is not visited, so I will firstly put that as visited. Because it is a new visited node, I will increase the node count by two. Now, because this node is, you know, visited for the first time and, you know, new node which I have visited, I will go on and check how many neighbors he has. Okay, he will say I have three neighbors right which means three edges i'll increase it okay i'll say three edges okay no worries go on go on i will get two again not visited visited that so this is visited node count decrease by one and then degree also will increase by how many degree it had cool it will increase by three it will become nine okay then it will go on to its neighbor so it it will become three so okay obviously three will be now visited and then I will have node count as four. Now, imagining that I only had a connection with zero and two. Imagine there had been no connection with one. Then obviously I would have only said that for three, the number of edges from three will be only two, right? Although um, it will like for one also it will change. So obviously let's make it eight because obviously for one as well, like we will have only two. Cool. So for three, now we are saying that, oh, I only have two edges. So I'll just say, okay, only two edges. Now, this is the corresponding degree sum. Now, what do you understand with this value 10? Is this, will you, will you compare this value 10 with n into n minus one by two? Ideally not, because if you remember, you had already counted every of these edges twice. So if you see, you have counted, this 10 is nothing but one, two, zero, one, two, sorry, one, two, three, zero, two, zero, one, three, zero, two. This is what 10 actually is indicating. But it obviously indicates that there's a, there's a double counting done from zero to one, one to zero, same way, two to one, one to two. So that is the reason this 10 is nothing but n into n minus one. This is not, this is not n into n minus one by two, no. This is n into n minus one. And what is n here? n was the number of nodes in the graph. So four into four minus one. So if this degree sum, right, would have been equal to four into three, which is 12, then I would have said it is a connected, it is a complete connected component. But now it is not equal. That is the reason I will not say that this is complete. If this, if there would have been this edge, Obviously, I would have easily mentioned that my degree sum would have come out to be 12, which is equals to n into n minus 1. And that is the reason I could have easily mentioned that, oh, great, um, this is complete. And when something is complete, increase the count by 1. Increase the count by 1. So this is exactly how you can do it. And as I mentioned, because it's a simple graph traversal, you can do it via simple BFS or DFS. Again, if someone is using DSU for it, I don't know what brains they have and how do they come up with DSU for such an easy problem. But yeah, DSU is not linked to this problem itself. Cool. Uh, I'll show you a code. I'll again, I'll only show you the DFS code. Again, it's easy, straightforward, simple. Although we had, if you had done the country components problem, you can do that via BFS as well. It's totally up to you. Both are exactly same. Cool. Let's see the code. Firstly, we will build the graph. As we know that we are just given the edges. So we have to build the graph, which is adjacency list. So adjacency list, list says that build an edge from U to V and also an edge from V to U. So this is the adjacency list, which I have built up. Now, when I have built up this adjacency list, now what's the fact? Obviously, I will run my DFS or I should say, I will find the connected components along with it. I will have to find if they're complete or not. So I will keep a visited. Why this visited is required? If you look at back the problem again, as I mentioned that you have imagined this as one component. Another component is this one. And let's say another component is this one. So obviously you start off your DFS from this. You when, when you will do a DFS, you will visit all this then next time you want to visit another component 
so but ideally you are visiting nodes so when you will visit this node again you will see okay it is already visited which means it was counted as a component of any another node previously as well so skip it go on to next one this also counted skip it next one skip it now this is a fresh which means now i have to start my fresh component count so to the reason i take visited then i'll go on to all the nodes and if something is already visited which will happen only when its component got visited by some other node in my previous step i will continue if not i will take i will have to find number of nodes and the degree sum of that specific component and i will now run a dfs saying the current node the graph which is passed as address the visited which is passed as address the nodes which is passed as address and the degree sum which is passed as address so current node everything is passed as address now why because you know that i have to maintain how many number of nodes are there in this component along with it i have to maintain what is the degree sum because ultimately at the end of the day i have to figure out that degree sum if it is equals to n into n minus 1 then i have a complete connected component which means only and only then increase my answer by 1 so if i go on back i will realize that my visited is true then i know that okay this this node is not yet visited so increase the node count increase the degree sum so the degree sum will correspondingly increase as as this is exactly same as what i showed you as well that it will increase by the number of neighbors you had in your adjacency list and then you will go on to the neighbors which are not yet visited those you will visit it exactly the same thing and with this very simple dfs code you will be able to get your degree sum and your node found and then with that relation which we figure out again this is the only thing which is a bit different this relation in this problem we will be able to get our answer now because we are visiting each and every node and edge exactly once thus the complexity is the same complexity of dfs or bfs which is n plus m number of nodes plus number of edges same way for space because we are building adjacency list and all that stuff so the space is also the same for it cool i hope you guys liked it make sure that we hit the like target of 100 likes see you in the next video until then goodbye take care